I do think music is a spiritual thing, it's a gift, and it comes from a higher place. I think that music is a superpower. There's beauty and pain, and everybody experiences it, and it's a lesson. I just feel love in my heart. I don't know what it has to do with music. I don't know if I'm more in touch with God than other people because of that, but I definitely use my gift to help other people. Jamaica, Queens, New York, born and raised, and I've lived in Brooklyn for about eight years. And I would walk down the streets, just, you know, going to the bus stop. I would crunch on, like, crack vials and, and needles. We were all on, like, welfare and food stamps. I was probably four when I discovered that I wanted to be an entertainer. My parents were very religious. They were pastors. I had to leave the church actually for a little while and then come back when I felt like it was right for me or I felt found God for myself. Everyone in my neighborhood thought we were like the Cosby Show kids. Like they didn't know that we had our own issues. All my brothers and sisters sing. So we all had jam sessions like in the house and on street corners. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel beautiful growing up. All my clothes were from the thrift store or hand me down from my brothers or my sisters. And, you know, we, my family wasn't about looking nice. LaGuardia High School, it was the one school I applied for. I didn't apply for any other school because I was like, like I'm getting into this school or I'm just going to go to my zone school. I remember going to the audition and the line was like around the corner for all the kids that wanted to get in. And my mom had gotten me these like loafers. They were so ugly. These penny loafers <laughs> and like they were chunky and disgusting and they were brown and I had a brown pants and a brown shirt and this huge goose down feather coat and I could hear these girls like they were saying like what is she wearing that is so ugly but I was like in my mind I was like I'm gonna get in this school and you're not like just watch mm -hmm. and so I went upstairs to my audition and I sang like maybe two bars of like Pocahontas Colors of the Wind and he was like stop you know and then I didn't really have to do anything else they accepted me it was my first like real big job and that was the first time I ever went to the hair salon and ever went and bought my first outfit and felt good about myself like in what I wore a lot of the music I, I write is about pain it's about suffering and a lot of it has to do with love and lost love, love between my parents and me that I felt like what was lost, love between men that I've let into my life and trusted. I had met my real father and that was not a dream come true I would say, it was more of an itch that was scratched. The song that I got signed with to Atlantic Records is a song I wrote about him. I wrote a song for Mary J. Blige called The Breakthrough and from there Everybody just, you know, I was the new girl on the scene and everybody just wanted to sign me, work with me. And that's pretty much how my like real career started. I wasn't like listening to her albums as a kid or anything because I wasn't allowed to. I was only allowed to listen to gospel, but you know, just in passing and just feeling her out, like she inspired me. Was I ready to, to be honest on stage? And I had to really, really understand that I wasn't yet. I was making so much money, but I remember like being out at like a rave or a, a huge, you know, show. It was like 10,000 people, a sea of people, and I could just bat my eyelash and they would scream and I wasn't saying anything in the songs that that I felt like touched people or changed anyone's lives. But Anybody could sing a song about sex. I wanted to sing some some stuff about real life. I wanted to to really connect with the audience. I think that strength is helping other people, really, and not just looking at your own circumstances and just feeling sorry for yourself all the time. I didn't realize that it wasn't just about the music. This business is not just about how talented you are. Atlantic was kind of like a security 
blanket. And then just being by myself, being the one in charge, being the one making all the rules is a scary place. I just went in the studio and wrote exactly what came out. I didn't have, I didn't even have like a, a goal. And just the music came out and that's how uh, Human Condition came about. And now, on that journey of finding myself, I feel like I am like the manager, I'm the director, I'm the actor, I'm, the, I'm all parts. This is a perfect day and age for an artist to do what they want to do. If I fail, I fail on my own terms. I think it was the best thing I ever did because it's more about inner peace. I believe that I'm going to help somebody. I believe I'm going to touch people's lives and yeah, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. Everything, yeah. Would you be mine, my darling dear? Love you all the time. I was a fool, a fool in love with you. Ooh. Hey. hey. You guys are so cute. Can we get your names and and and, and like a name?